All right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to this video. I am super excited. I'm here with Joss Maruno. He's the founder of Leadbook, which is a Facebook app that allows you to auto DM prospects. And he has over 700 users on the software, loving it, using it to close really high ticket clients and just crush in their business. So today we're going to learn more about Leadbook and Facebook prospecting from the master himself. Joss, thanks for being here, man. Yeah, thank you for having me, man. So tell us how you got into like the online space in general. And then how did you realize that you know, Facebook outreach was one of the best ways to get clients. Yeah, it basically started a while ago when I, I was basically doing crypto projects and doing marketing for some crypto projects and stuff like that. And then the crypto market just started tanking and I just didn't really know what to switch to. I was trying to think of a different you know, avenue for my business. Okay. And I started selling this B2B data, which someone had given to me for free. And I was doing it through cold email and some other kind of not so effective strategies. And then one day I was just like, I'm going to send out just a bunch of Facebook DMs to people in a group and see what happens. And I tried it out. I sent out like 70 DMs and then got restricted by Facebook for 24 hours. And I was like, okay, we'll see what happens. And then within a couple of hours or maybe within a day at most, I started getting a bunch of leads. And out of those leads, one of them closed. And I was like, oh, wow, this is actually working. So ever since then, I've just been focusing mostly on Facebook and just going really, really hard on that. I started sort of automating some stuff on LinkedIn. But the thing has gotten the most results besides SMS, which is kind of illegal, is Facebook. So number one, I'd say the most effective thing I've done is SMS, but I had to stop it because of the legality surrounding it. But Facebook is a pretty close number two. I mean, that Facebook, on average, in my experience, experience and also according to some people that I've worked with it's like at least 15 to 20 percent reply rate on Facebook it's not necessarily positive or you know it's not like a meeting booked 15 to 20 percent but just reply rate 15 to 20 percent is still very very high so that's kind of how I got into it no that's massive and a lot of people don't know this but that's how I got to my first 10k a month was Facebook DMs like purely finding the orthodontist in the Facebook group sending the friend request sending the message and nurturing them from there. So near and dear to my heart. And that's why uh, when I found what you were doing with the lead book, I mean, there's other extensions that do this, right? But I think finding a an extension that does it correctly, that's maintained well and has all the features you want that you can count on being good for a long-term purchase so that you can learn it for your business is really important. So I have found all of those things with lead books. So I'm excited to take a look, a little bit deeper look today. Yeah, yeah I, I will say this about lead book. There are a ton of extensions that you can use out there and they all pretty much do the same thing. The thing about Leadbook is not necessarily Leadbook itself. I mean, it is cheaper than most of the alternatives out there, as far as I know. But the thing that makes it interesting is the kind of strategy, which we're going to get into in a second, with uh, sending DMs at scale. So it's not necessarily something you can... You can do this really with any extension you want because they all do the same thing. But the fun thing that I figured out how to do is sending out from multiple Facebook accounts and one computer without any issues when it comes to getting banned or anything like that. So that is, I think, the cool thing about not necessarily Leadbook specifically, specifically but just a strategy which I haven't really seen anyone else do but a friend of mine I paid some developer to teach me how to do it and ever since then I've just been pushing it love it dude yeah you every single day I see your Facebook posts about it and it's a little bit beyond my technical desire to learn but um <laughs> I am super excited to have you personally walk me through it um, because I yeah it, it just seems legit you say up to a thousand messages a day you can, you can do more than that. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could do. It really depends on how many comp how many um, accounts you can run on one computer without it slowing your computer down. But okay. if you did thirty Facebook accounts, you would that would be fifteen hundred. Per day. It just depends on whatever your computer can run. And I guess I've never tried it personally, but you could use like VPSs and all that. And you could probably go even further than that if you really wanted to. One guy messaged me and asked for a thousand lead book accounts. So that means that he would be sending once this, he hasn't really properly gone through with it yet. But once he's running up and running, it'll be 50,000 per day, which is just, I can't even imagine that. But some people are into it. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. Well, cool. Uh, Go ahead and show us then. So yeah, when it comes to optimizing the profiles, I don't do anything too crazy with it. You basically just want to treat your whole entire page as a funnel though. So treat it as if you're making a click funnels page to some degree where every piece of real estate in your profile should link them to your offer, but not in a fully like spammy way, in a way that actually provides some value. So when it comes to the header, everyone pretty much does this on Facebook who's into like selling anything on Facebook. You basically just want to make a header that describes your offer. But the key for other, I think, is the most important part is making it 
as simple as possible and describing exactly what you can do for the client. I'll see some people that have like 25 years of graphic design, 10 years, like all this useless information. Whereas I like to do it in a way that simply describes what you can do for the client, the value you can provide for the client. So book 10 meetings per day using Facebook DM, super, super simple and to the point so that people aren't confused and it's not too much information. You'll see that throughout this whole like Facebook organic strategy, the most important thing that I think is making everything as short and simple as possible when it comes to DM scripts, your bio, you know, your post, just as simple as possible. Because people, when I when I receive a wall of text as a message or as a post, I never hardly ever read it unless there's something really captivating about it. But when it's just a couple of sentences, your brain just automatically reads it. Besides that, you, also you want to add a bio, same concept, as short as humanly possible and as simple as humanly possible. Add a link to either your website or your, I wouldn't say a Canly because it's kind of long and ugly, but some sort of shortened link towards um, funneling people into your offer. For posts, you just want to make posts that are, you know, organic. And, you know, I'm not necessarily the best at posting or some sort of expert, but the idea behind it is you want you, especially when you're making these fake profiles, you want to make them look real and realistic. And more importantly, you want the post to provide value. Because if somebody receives a message from you on, on Facebook, usually the first thing they do is open your profile and see what, you know, what you're all about. And if you actually provide value, like they see one of your posts and like, oh, that's actually really useful. I'm going to use that. That makes them a lot more likely to purchase from you because if you are just, people don't like to be sold on anything, even if it's a good offer, but if they receive free value and free tips and they're like, oh, that's useful, they're way more likely to actually pay for your offer. So yeah, put the idea is just look real, you know, post a few pictures of yourself and your day-to-day -day life, but also post things that are genuinely valuable and provide value. A really good thing to do is post lead magnets. So for example, my I have a Loom tutorial that I made showing people how to send a thousand DMs per day on Facebook. And then within that Loom, I pitch people on Leadbook, which is my my offer. So if you do that, that's really good for not only posting on your wall, but you can also also post that in groups. Because if you're just offering a lead magnet in a group, you're not very likely to get kicked out by admins or restricted by admins. But if you're full on just advertising your service in a group, that's never going to get approved by the admins. Whereas if you have a Google Doc or a Loom showing them how to do something valuable, and then you put your offer into that tutorial, that's a lot more likely to get approved by admins. And you can just do that all day. It's actually a little bit more effective than sending DMs because you can make a post, you can get 100 people commenting that they're interested in your lead magnet, and then you just send them your lead magnet. And yeah, that's it. Great advice. Yeah. If you're messaging people, your posts actually show up more in their feed. So just sending a simple DM, maybe having them respond to you once, the value you're putting on your profile is going to get more impressions from the that's, people. Uh, uh, that makes sense. I actually don't even know about that. That's perfect. I mean, besides that, the, the, the goal is just to do the same thing across all of your Facebook accounts. The fake profiles, you want to make them look super realistic, which this is where buying the account from the right provider comes into play, but also just adding some pictures. And it's, it's the same concept. You just want to apply it to the whole 20 profiles that you have or 30 profiles, whatever it may be. The provider that I use, I'm sure there's cheaper and better alternatives out there. This is just the one that's worked for me. And I don't mind paying a little bit more for it. It's uh, the smmexpert.com. The reason I like these people is because the profiles actually look decently realistic. S some of them are more realistic than others. You kind of lock out and sometimes you get kind of crappier ones. But generally speaking, there's pretty realistic looking photos. There's some posts that look realistic. Sometimes there's even story posts that have been saved, which is kind of crazy. But if you go to social accounts and then you go to buy Facebook age accounts, you can basically choose a $25 option. Now this can be a little bit pricey. Like if you're getting 10 of these, that's 250. If you're getting 20, that's 500. But the way I think about it is if you have 20 accounts and you're spending 500 bucks as a, as a one-time cost, you're going to be sending out a thousand DMs per day. Where like, unless your offer really sucks, you're going to make way more money than 500 bucks within the first couple of days of sending. So I think it's worth it. But some, if you if you want to find a cheap option, there's many other Facebook providers out there. But no real difference between the $300 option and the $25 option. I actually don't know because I've never purchased anything besides this one. I think these are more so to do with like the Facebook ad account, maybe. I've only done the 25. It works just fine for me personally. And yeah, so you purchase those and then essentially you want to get this software called Hide My Account. There's other alternatives also. This is just the one I use. Uh, you basically, this will allow you to run a bunch of different profiles on one computer uh, without getting without it being known once you start using the proxies, which I'll get into in a sec. But essentially, it's as if you have 20 different computers in 20 different locations once this is all fully set up. So Facebook has no idea that you have all these uh, Facebook accounts on one computer. So you would basically just make a new profile. You would name it after whatever your fake account is called. Let's say the fake account is called John Stinson. 
you call it that and then you want to set up a proxy and the per the way you purchase proxies is you go to this one right here so app.privateproxy.me you want to purchase one static private residential proxy per facebook account that you're using you can get away with like running a couple of facebook accounts on one proxy but if you really want to be safe the thing that i do is one proxy per facebook account so if you have 20 facebook accounts you want to have 20 private static re residential proxies so they're usually about four to five dollars per month if you get 20 it's 80 bucks a month it's not too bad at all purpose you want to select facebook uh, country i generally click germany you can really do any of them the thing that i've noticed is if you do the us sometimes the ip is blacklisted apparently that doesn't really make a difference i haven't seen it make a difference but if you want to be safe germany tends to be blacklisted less frequently but essentially you'll get a string of code it's going to be like a few numbers for the proxy that's all it is all you have to do is copy that the entire thing and then you go to hide my account and then you go to proxy you know in the back end of the profile you just created and then you press http proxy and you're going to paste it into here into this place here and you press import and then these ones are going to get filled up and then you just press check proxy to double check that it's fully connected and that's really it you basically just create the profile with the proxy already attached and then you start running it and then like i said it's basically going to be as if you have a completely different computer in a completely different location the thing you want to do is you want to put this into a separate desktop yeah you basically want to create these desktops i have a bunch of linkedin accounts running right now one of these browsers or these profiles into one desktop another one into another one another one to another one and you can get away with like like two or three browsers within one desktop because Leadbook is pretty okay at running in the background, but some people have issues with it. So if you want to be safe, just do one profile per one desktop. After that, you basically just go to facebook.com, you log in with your new account, you optimize it, you do all that, and then you want to download the Leadbook Chrome extension. Like I said, it's it's the same as like a, a lot of extensions out there. It's pretty much the same thing. However, uh, if you use it with a strategy, it's going to be very, very good because you can do it at scale. I'm sure a lot of your viewers probably know that uh, the best people to message are the members of things in common, because if you don't have mutual friendships with people, you're basically more likely to get restricted by Facebook. So always do members of things in common within a group and ideally a private group also because public groups tend to be a little bit crampier. Just a quick note for those of you wondering, if you're brand new to a niche and you don't have any members with things in common in the group that you're reaching out to don't sweat it just do less volume until you start to build up people in that niche right yeah no 100 that's a good point another thing you can do in that context is if you have your main account that you've added many people with already and you, it's a new profile and it has no friends or no friends within certain groups you can add your main profile as a friend and then add some of your friends who you know are in groups as a friend also plus add some of the admins because they're usually going to be friends with a lot of people and just exactly what you said just really slowly and, and pace it a little bit as far as finding groups you made a little bit of a statement there where you said private groups are going to be better than public groups. I get this all the time. People are like, I can't find a good group to reach out to. And I'm always saying, look, you didn't look hard enough. Try variations of the same thing. So if you're looking up, for example, chiropractors, instead of typing in chiropractor, type in Cairo and see what comes up. And there's tons of different random groups that are going to come up. If it doesn't end up working and you can't find a good, healthy group inside of your niche, A, you probably did it wrong. But B, you can always start your own group as well and start inviting people to that and kind of just pull members from some of the other groups that may be more dead or haven't gone quite as well in the recent years. Yeah, no, that that's solid. Uh, on top of that, what one thing you can do is if you search up certain things, everyone's joining those groups. If you look up SaaS, for example, or marketing, everyone else is going to be joining those groups. So they're going to be a lot crampier. But what you can do is just search up a keyword, click on a group, and then press this button right here, because then it's going to be groups that are similar, similar, but don't necessarily come up in, you know, with really popular search words. So you can just like these ones, for example, you know, you can tell they're private. They're usually for some reason, just higher quality. I, my guess is just because people aren't looking up these specific names yeah. and you discover more groups and you're going to get a ton of them. And yeah, besides that, I do recommend kind of getting into paid groups if you can. They're harder to find. But for example, if you purchase a certain course or a membership or a you know, coaching program and that gives you access to a Facebook group, sometimes it's worth it because you know everyone in there pay to get in. So they have more money to buy your offer, basically. Great advice there. It's so interesting. I've never thought about somebody just buying a program purely to get access to the Facebook group. <laughs> So yeah, they can yeah, 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 yeah. On it. It'd be like great ROI. It's essentially, you know, paying for ad spend to be able to reach all those people directly, which is really That's cool. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's, I think it's worth it personally. Yeah, but. no, hundred percent. But yeah, I mean, besides that, if you want me to just do a lead book demo, it basically, yeah, let's see. Group. 
Um, you would select your message template. I, I, there's there's a whole training when you get lead book showing you how to set up the template. It's pretty simple. But you basically just select an offer, which is your message template. And you can do keywords too. Generally speaking, I don't really use them. To, well, it depends on the offer I'm using. But if you want to filter for only people who are semi-legit, I would use like official titles like owner, CEO, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Because generally speaking, people that have that in their bio are going to be a little bit more likely to be able to pay for your offer. But even so, there's like some crappy people that still have these titles. The warm-up schedule that I do is just to be really, really safe on all the accounts, especially because most of the A each ones that you buy aren't you, that none of them have ever done any outreach so they haven't sent that many messages you really want to pace it slowly and this is probably the, the hardest part of facebook outreach is having to wait this long period to warm things up but i would start with 15 per day for the first week of sending and then raise it by five every single week after that second week you do 20 third week you do 25 until you hit 50 dms per day maximum so that's the slow part it'll take like six seven weeks to get to 50 dms per day per account but you're still going to get results if you have 20 accounts sending 15 each and then 20 each and then 25 each. It's just a little bit of a painful process. But by the time you're at 20 accounts sending 50 per day, you're at a thousand DMs per day. And at a 20% reply rate, that's 200 replies every single day you have to deal with. So it's it's worth it, in my opinion, to wait it out. But besides that, you just basically, you press start and it starts running. Uh, sometimes you have to refresh this. You basically just, you, it's good to scroll down a little bit for the extension and then you just start it. These red numbers will come up. I'm going to pause it so it doesn't actually message them. But yeah, that's basically it. There's not much more to it besides that. So what do those red numbers mean? This is the order in which they're going to be messaged, essentially. Yeah. Okay. And it's going to send 15 requests all in a row, or is it going to wait? How does that work? The thing that you want to do is, it, let's say you don't want to use this extension because you're strapped on cash. If you're going to send it manually, that's completely fine too. Just try to wait at least five minutes, ideally nine minutes to, between each message, because that will keep things a little bit safer. Facebook likes it if you wait a little bit. And Facebook also doesn't like it when you send the same message every single time. So you want to, number one, customize the first name, which this extension will do automatically. But number two, have a few variations of the same template. So I'm going to show you um, this one right here. So as you can see, this is three variations of the same message. You can change up the pricing. You can change up anything you want in the messages. But it's good to just use that spin tanks to go through um, three different variations or four different variations. Ideally, if you do more than three, that would be good. But at a minimum, I would do three variations of the same message template just to change things up a little bit. So you want to start with a message segment. This is like basically the segments you combine together. Mm -hmm. So the first thing would be like, hello. So you can just this is the title. You can name it whatever you want. And you would do, hey, first name, for example, maybe hi, first name, and then howdy, first name. And then you want to save that. So that's just one segment that you're going to combine with another segment to make a group. And that'll make sense in, that'll make sense in a second. Uh, second part is the actual offer. So you're combining, hey, hi, hello, first name with the actual offer. So the offer might be, let's just call it SMMA offer. We say, I can book you 15 meetings in the next month or you don't pay. I'm just making this as a completely random example, but yeah. so interested, question mark. The idea that I like to use, the, the formula that I like to use for message templates is same thing, as simple as humanly possible, as enticing as humanly possible, and as casual as humanly possible. So as I said, simple I actually meant short. So when it comes to making it short, you want to make it just remove any information that's unnecessary, remove any words that are unnecessary, and just try to make it as concise as possible. A sentence like this is so short, that you just can't help but read it, you know? I'm not saying this is the best template, I just came up with this on the spot, but the structure behind is just make it really really short instead of saying are you interested i would just say interested you can play around with that it's not like a 100 percent rule that you have to follow but ideally as short as possible another thing is enticing if you try if you have a really good offer then it's naturally enticing that's fine but if your offer is more saturated like this one for example you want to do something to make it stand out so like a money back guarantee you know or you don't pay that makes it a little bit more enticing some people even say if you know if i don't get you these meetings i'll give you a thousand dollars of my own money that's something you can do also just anything to make it enticing but you won't necessarily even have to do that if your offer is genuinely unique enough but like i said if it's saturated add some sort of guarantee to make people um, make it stand out a little bit and when it comes to casualness you can do this where you make everything lowercase this is something i like to do carson fox a youtuber even recommends potentially putting typos into the message which i've never done but i think that's actually a really good idea that's pretty solid but i just like to make everything lowercase but it doesn't matter that much as long as it's a short message you can do whatever you want and casual also maybe involves using 
using the word LOL or something like that or saying yo. Because back in the day, you know, a long time ago, people used to send out emails and they would be super professional. And that professionalism is what got results. But now because being professional is so saturated, you kind of have to do the opposite and be more casual and as if you just typed it up. For example, when I do cold email, I'll add sent from my iPhone at the bottom, even though I'm automating it and it's not from my iPhone. You just want to look like you just pulled out your phone, you sent out a message to a specific person. So casualness, like using LOL, using Yo when it's appropriate, using WhatsApp, stuff like that, um, that can help. But besides that, you just want to add it and then you want to create another one and create a variation of this. So let's say I could book you 25 meetings in the next four weeks. You just want to change it out so that Facebook doesn't doesn't know that you're just copying and pasting the same message. Or I'll pay you a thousand dollars of my own money. Interested, you add it. But then you do a third one, change it up. You can maybe say 1500 of my own money. You could say six weeks with 35 meetings. You just want to change it up. You, this is a, a kind of bad example, but you want to get creative with it, change it up. You can change up pricing, you can change up whatever you want. And then you press add. And that's basically it. You just want to save that. And now you want to combine that haze. There's Hays and hellos with the actual message groups. So for example, this is the group we'll call it SMA offer. And then you want to press message segment and you want to do the hellos and also the SMA offer, which we had out there. have two of them. Let's just say it's this one. And you add it. And then you save that. Oh, so cool. And that's basically when you go back to home, you can basically select that. Uh, message template right here and that's it that's the gist behind it yeah i love it dude any other settings or things that you can customize in here i know some i've seen like country filters before but that's not super reliable can you speak to that or any of the other settings yeah it doesn't there? have the country filter it does have a few other things where you can basically message when somebody for example when you receive a friend request from someone or when you, you accept oh, wow. a friend request or deny a friend request but besides that, that's pretty much it. This is a really simple extension, but there's many, many that do the same thing. The thing that will make the strategy potent is using multiple accounts and using proxies. So if you go to leadbook.amp, you can get your first account, which is just 67 bucks. But after that, don't purchase more accounts on the website because you need one leadbook account per one Facebook account. But obviously, I don't want anyone to buy the $67 account like 20 times because that's like ridiculously expensive. So after that, you can just email me and every additional account or every additional leadbook seat is just ten dollars so yeah if you email me you can get a discount on that love it so cool just a couple notes from me here if you're more in a situation where you're getting a lot of inbound requests this is an awesome feature to be able to just message everybody for example everybody that friends me i send them a message that says hey thanks so much for connecting let me know if i can serve you anyway just a really friendly way to first of all boost yourself in their algorithm but also a lot of people i get them asking questions or talking and then I can push them to whatever I'm offering at that point. Another thing to think about is if you're uncomfortable direct pitching over DM and you want to kind of ease into this, just go ahead and run this with automatic friend requests. You don't even have to send a message. So just start friending people and that, that'll save you a lot of time. It'll look less suspicious in Facebook's eyes when you're you know, friending 15 people in a row. Instead, you can space it out every nine minutes, slowly grow your friend base and just rely on the posts on your page to have the nurturing for those people and then you can message them once you get more comfortable with that idea. Anything else you'd add to that, Josh? Yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's, a, I, I actually get, a lot of my um, sales through so just posting. And the reason that works is because I'll make the same posts over and over again. But what I'll do is I'll add a bunch of new friends. So if you're just sitting on the toilet or something like that, you can go to a group and you can just add a bunch of people as a friend. Do, you know, 10 requests here, 10 requests there, 10 requests, you know, throughout the day, just add a bunch of people as friends. Make sure they're high quality. You know, if someone doesn't have a profile picture, don't add them as a friend. But eventually, I'm not even there yet, but eventually you have 5,000 friends, which is the limit. And those will be 5,000 people that you can pitch any offer to at any point in your life. You, if you have a new offer, pitch it to the 5,000 people. So it's a really valuable thing to have the friends to just take the time and add them throughout the day. It's a fun thing and it'll put a lot more people into your pipeline. Love it. Question for you. What happens once you get to 5,000? Once you get to 5,000, I think that's just the limit. I'm not even, I'm not there yet. But what you can do is you, there's some tools out there that allow you to defriend certain people. Maybe it's even based on activity. I'm not sure about that. You can delete people who aren't super active or who maybe don't engage engage with your post that much, whatever you want to do. But at that point, it's good to recycle or you could even create a whole new Facebook account if you wanted to. I don't know if I recommend that, but there's a lot of things you can do if you really want to put the effort into it. Love it. And you can still, if somebody oh. follows you, you could still message them back, right? Yeah. I was about to say, you could turn your Facebook profile into a 
like public page where people can follow you and that's infinite. So that would work also. Love it. Very cool. So I wanted to ask you, what is the craziest use of lead book that you've seen? Like somebody in a random niche or some really crazy story of somebody who's used this tool for a really good success? This isn't necessarily crazy, but this is the thing that I recommend because it's hot and popping and not a lot of people are doing it, but I just did a webinar for these people who are doing ERC. So if you guys don't know what that is, it's like employee retention credit or something like that. Essentially, people who have employees like qualify for a certain credit and the people who who refer them to whichever government agency does this, uh, they get a commission off of it. So a lot of people basically grabbed a bunch of lead book accounts and they're sending out like a thousand DMs per day to business owners to offer them this ERC credit. So that's something I think right now is not very many people are doing besides this group I talked to. And I, if you take advantage of it now before it becomes saturated, that could be a really huge thing. Yeah, so cool. It's not like this online offer. It's literally just friending people that have employees and saying, hey, I can save you money on your taxes. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's why it's just, it's super, super solid. Another thing, this is something I just launched recently, but um. I'm I'm doing a done for you version of this. So if anyone wants to send out a thousand DMs per day, but they don't want to do this whole setup, I offer a done for you service. But another thing other people can do is they can take that idea and they can offer a done for you service. So scale DMs as a service. So they, the offer is basically, hey, I'll send out a thousand DMs per day on behalf of your company, your offer. I'll optimize all the profiles. All you have to do is reply to the messages that come in every day. That's my offer. Anyone else can take it. I don't see any agencies doing it. I barely even see any people sending scale DMs, let alone offering them as a service. So if anyone wants to take it, they can go ahead. Love it. How much is your managed service out of interest? Uh, I'm trying to remember because I'm just launched it. It's a thousand DMs per day is three grand per month. 500 per day is 2000, not 2500. And if you just want to get started, 250 DMs per day is a thousand bucks per month. Love it, dude. So cool. It's like Facebook ads, but you're guaranteed to like reach the audience and you don't have to have that Facebook ad skill and for a thousand or pay the ad spend and yeah, for a thousand yeah, bucks yeah. a month, like 250 a day like you you've got to be really bad at sales to not exactly. close anybody off of that yeah yeah i mean the only thing i can't like guarantee is if someone's offer just sucks there's nothing i can do about it but if you Obviously. even have a decent offer offer and you're sending out a thousand dms per day you will just be rolling in meetings so that's 200 replies per day you have to deal with i mean you're going to get someone good and as long as your offer is halfway decent love it and another follow-up question to that crazy what's the craziest thing you've come seen come through what's the best result you've seen from one of your lead book users? It's hard to say because not everyone shares their results with me. They usually only message me when they have issues with it or they have questions. Yeah. But it has to just be the ERC stuff because I keep up. Those are the people I keep most up to date with. Mm-hmm. And they're talking about how they booking like people with 20 employees, 30 employees. One guy, he didn't use lead book to do this, to be fair, but he got a 500 employee company or something insane like that. So ERC is a good thing. If anyone wants to try that before it gets too saturated, that's what I'm seeing results with at the moment. But I'm sure there's other industries that have done even better. I just haven't heard about it. Yeah. You should get some more of those stories and put them on your profile because I'm sure you'd get dozens of signups a day off of that. That's so cool. Cool. So last question here, if you could go back, I don't know how many years ago you started this journey, but tell Joss two, three, four, five years ago, what mindset or hack or thing that he should understand about sending cold Facebook DMs or just DMs in general, what would you tell him? Uh, I probably, I probably have to say just pretty much everything I've covered here is like the most important aspects of it. But I would definitely try to do something more high ticket because in the beginning, well, I, you know, I did sell something decently high ticket. But when you sell low ticket stuff, like in the beginning, I tried to use Facebook DMs to get users for lead book, and it was even cheaper than it is now. It was like thirty bucks per month at the time. I did it just because I had no users, and you may as well do it. But generally speaking, you always want to do a high ticket offer. I mean, imagine if you genuinely. Have have a good offer, it's high ticket, and you're sending out a thousand DMs per day, or you know, someone like me is sending it on behalf of you, you're gonna get crazy, crazy results, and that's gonna be a lot of money. So I would probably just say send at scale and do high ticket if you can and make sure your offer is pretty decent. Love it. Thanks, man. Yeah, thank you for having me, man. This is cool. Yeah, and if anybody wants to sign up for lead book, there's a referral code uh, that helps me out, also helps Joss out, and helps you get awesome clients down below in the description. Should check that out, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.